Hello everyone, Claudia here again from Nourish by Claudia, founder of the Period Comeback and the Recover from HA Support Group. Another wonderful day filled with you, with you ladies, lots of people, lots of women that I've talked to today that are really committed to getting the period back and are ready to prioritize the well-being. it has been such an amazing day. Um, outside is raining, which I find really relaxing and beautiful. I love the sun. Obviously, everyone loves the sun and we need it so much to, to grow. But sometimes that rain just reminds us that we all go through seasons and um, sometimes we just need to prioritize relaxation instead of movement. We're not meant to harvest every single month. It's, um, it's really a disservice that society has told us as women that we have to act like little men and it's okay for us to exercise every day at the crack of dawn, that it's okay for us to fast, that it's okay for us to train every single day of the week quite consistently in a, in a very similar fashion. And that's okay for us to work full time and promote, produce, go to meetings, come up with ideas every single day, like if nothing was changing. The reality is that that's a very masculine way of seeing the world. But we are women. We are not meant to harvest every single day of the month, which is why we have a period. We have hormones that men don't have. We have hormones that are in charge of slowing us down and making us go faster. There are seasons in our body where we are meant to go out, meet, being extroverts, and other seasons where we are meant to simply sit down, think, go through our choices, you know, do a little bit of a spring cleaning. And those seasons for us women happen every month. Unfortunately, the world at the moment is not working in our favor, which is one of the reasons why so many women out there are struggling to get a period back and also are struggling to get pregnant, even though they have a period, because we are always constantly going. We are in this fight and flight response. And if you want to join me tomorrow on the Recovery from HA Support Group, I'm going to have, I'm going to show up with a live on how we can decrease our sympathetic nervous response. But for today, I would like to change things up a little bit. But before I do so, just allow me to look outside the window. And while I do that, I invite you to take a deep, very deep, big breath. So when I look out, inhale. And when I look at you, exhale. Once again, when I look at the rain, just picture the rain, inhale, big one. From the belly, expand your lungs. Exhale, when I look back at you. Welcome. Welcome to your present moment. Welcome to the part of you that you're pushing to the side on most days because there are things that need to be done. And I get you. Um, a solopreneur, I started my business and now I'm hiring people, I've hired people. And it's a commitment. I work from 5.30 in the morning until 7 o'clock at night, most days of the week. I have two small kids. I have no support. I live far away from where I was born. Actually, the opposite side of the world. And there are so many things happening in my life. I've been dealing with chronic pain for a long time. And, um, and I have my friends. And I have my hobbies. And my social life. Life is busy. But there is always time to breathe. And whenever I jump on this video and I talk to you, is actually one of the of my chances to breathe and I can do it with you which is fantastic so I would like to thank you for allowing me to do this and I invite you to do it with me next time if you haven't done so already today's videos is to is about a topic that is very close to my heart lots of women that jump on a call with me or they have been working with me they normally say things like I've already increased the calories I haven't got my period back. I've tried meditation. Didn't really work for me. I've done journaling. 
not really my thing. Oh, I don't like yoga. I cannot, I cannot do it. It's too stressful. The anxiety comes up. And what I'm here to tell you is that things normally don't work the first time around. And always come go back to the intention behind doing the things. If, for example, you sit in meditation for five minutes, struggling all the way through your meditation time, thinking, cannot wait for this to be over, then of course it's not going to work. And of course you're less likely to, to do it again, to put yourself in the same situation again, right? Um, and that's the same thing for journaling. Oh, I've journaled for two days, but not much came out. Oh, even for seven days. But couldn't, I didn't see the point and I didn't know what to write. Nothing really came out. And the same thing with uh, increasing the food. Oh yeah, for a week, I've increased the calories or I stopped exercising while I was on holiday. Still haven't got my period back. Things don't work the first time that you try them. And when I say first, it doesn't mean just the first time, meaning that one single episode or the first day. It could also be a few days together. So for example, if you try to change your diet for only a month, that allow your body to catch up with the malnourishment, with the deprivation of the previous months or years. If you have decided to stop uh, going to the gym, yeah, okay, really well. Or if you have decided to decrease your exercise output, fantastic. Give your body a chance to understand that now rest is welcome and rest is needed and you don't need to feel guilty because of that. Same thing with meditation. Try it every day until you get your period back. And uh, that can take, you can decide which type of meditations you would like to do. That can be two minutes of visualization exercises before going to sleep. That's my favorite thing because that's when you can start thinking about how you would like your life to look like. Because maybe right now you think that your life is kind of okay. Your relationship with your body is not optimal, but it's not horrific. Your diet has improved. It's kind of always the same, but it has improved. Um, but my question is, if you want to get your period back, if you want to grow your family, what else? What else do you want? Because if you sit down and you engage with the journaling activity, allow yourself to really tap into that area of yourself that wants to be her, right? So if, for example, you spend two minutes every night before going to sleep and visualize yourself in the future, what would you like your period to be like? Four days long, five days long? Do you want it to be a messy, painful period so that you get that feeling that you are a woman? Or do you want a period that no one is going to notice? How are you going to be dressing when uh, you rekindle your relationship with food and training and you get your period back? Which kind of topics, which kind of conversations are you going to have with friends? Where are you going to spend most of your time? Because if you're coming from a running background or you've been competing for the past few years, or if you have been doing CrossFit, or even yoga at a very high hardcore level, what would you like to do? Which kind of person would you like to be once you get your period back? Don't stop yourself from dreaming big. And that's why I'm saying sometimes things don't work out the first time as you expect them to work out. And there is a reason behind it. Because you cannot really change your mindset. You cannot really engage in different behaviors if you try it only once. But what's going to happen if you do it again and again and again? New synapses are going to switch on in your brain. You're going to create new thoughts. And once you create new thoughts, you're going to create new behaviors. And that's what the magic is really going to happen for you. So I really hope that this video wasn't too woo-woo. <laughs> I'm going to see you in the next few days. 
I really enjoy making these videos for many different reasons and I understand that they are quite well received at this point. Next time, I really would like to tackle the calorie situation and how to stop counting calories. But if you have any feedbacks or if you would like me to talk about something specifically, just let me know in the comment section below and I will see if I can address um, those topics of conversation. And if you have any question for me or if something really resonated and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, you got me today, Claudia. Or if instead something is not making sense and you need me to explain it again, just let me know. Talk to me because that's the easiest way for me to support you. Bye for now, wonderful woman.